because I know a lot of you on the channel really love Fortnite, so let's jump in with the Fortnite news first. So, Fortnite is going to have a new season that comes out tomorrow on Friday. Uh, the server is supposed to go down during the night time at like 3 a.m. in the morning, and uh, who knows how long the server is going to be down, you know? Usually they try to bring it up sometime around lunchtime, but sometimes it doesn't come out until like the afternoon. It just depends, like Fortnite takes their time with stuff sometimes, so <laughs> I'm excited. Um, Fortnite has revealed new images for the, the new season, and the trailer for the new season accidentally leaked early, so you can actually find it on YouTube if you search, but I'm just going to be sharing the official photos that Fortnite posted on their Instagram and their Twitter, so um, we know the new season is going to be like Greek mythology themed. Uh, Fortnite this entire week has been kind of sharing photos, so we know what to expect. So the season apparently is going to be called Myths and Mortals. And the teaser image, I have it like right here. My phone is charging, but let me, let me quick see. So the image right here teasing the new season um, is called Myths and Mortals. And we get to see, like, a character, I, I guess it's Zeus. Uh, I heard some people saying it's Hercules, but it looks like Zeus. Um, we have someone that actually kind of looks like Mercy from Overwatch in the background, which is kind of funny. It's clearly not Mercy. It's probably going to be, you know, Athena or something like that. But, uh, it looks awesome. There's also a character that looks like uh, Hades or something like that. So... It's interesting, um, people are saying there's gonna be new mythic weapons this season, they're all, they're all gonna be, like, Greek mythology-themed, so it seems like we're gonna have a really nice season, so I am very, very excited for tomorrow, um, I will definitely be, you know, recording my first reaction to the Battle Pass, and I will upload my first game, if it's a good game, if I die immediately, then I'll try to get a better game, but, uh, I'm happy, I'm very excited for the new season. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about the Fortnite news, are you excited? I'm really curious and interested to know what y'all think, so let me know in the comments. Uh, okay, now we have some other news that's not related to Fortnite, so let's see, let's see, what do we talk about first? So, uh, the upcoming Sonic, uh, slash Knuckles spinoff show, um, has been revealed to have a pretty long episode, um, runtime, so this is actually pretty cool. Uh, for those that don't know, there's an upcoming Sonic show, like, live-action show, that's not focusing on Sonic, but it's gonna be focusing on Knuckles from the Sonic movie, the recent movies that came out. And, uh, it's gonna be airing on Paramount Plus, and apparently there's gonna be six episodes, and every episode is, like, one hour. So, we're gonna get a lot of content, and people are very, very excited for this show, so... If you like Knuckles, definitely check out the show when it premieres. Uh, we got some crazy, crazy news this week uh, regarding Nintendo and the emulation community, so I'm not going to go too in-depth, but basically what happened was, uh, I'm sure most of you know what emulators are. Um, basically, people design emulators to play uh, video game systems on their PC. So, like, there's emulators for most old consoles, like, if you want to play the Nintendo Wii on your PC, there's a way to do that. The same thing with, like, the Nintendo DS, or Game Boy, or PlayStation 2, Xbox. They all have emulators. Well, one particular emulator was emulating the Nintendo Switch, and the Switch is not old. Uh, that is a new, current generation system that is still being sold. 
sold in uh, in stores. So it seems like Nintendo discovered this emulator, um, and they went after the creators and the website, and they brought them in for a lawsuit. And uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Like you don't want Nintendo uh, <laughs> coming after you. Uh, we've learned time and time again here on the channel that Nintendo really goes after people, especially if they're making money off their games or things like that. And, uh, yeah, basically, um, people point back to when The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and, uh, Tears of the Kingdom came out. There were a lot of videos online of people playing this game on, like, their Steam Deck or PC and not on a Switch, and Nintendo did not like that, so... They had, like, an entire team of people researching, and I guess they found this emulator. Uh, I think it's called Yuzu. And, uh, yeah, they went after the creators, and there was this whole lawsuit thing. But, uh, apparently they settled out of court, and the creators of this emulator had to give Nintendo $2.4 million, uh, dollars, which is absolutely insane. That is super high, but... At least they don't end up going to jail, I think, because poss there was a possibility of them actually, you know, getting into serious legal trouble or something like that. So, yeah, pretty crazy. Um, so a lot of people are talking about this right now. Um, there's some people that are very pro-emulation, of course, you know, preserving games and things like that, uh, saying that Nintendo overstepped. And then you got, you know, very hardcore Nintendo fans saying that Yuzu emulator was helping people steal Nintendo games that they weren't going to buy uh, in new Switch games. So, like, you know, a new Nintendo Switch game comes out, people don't buy it, and they pirate it instead. And uh, apparently this emulator also had, like, donations and, like, a, a place on Patreon where you could, like, support the developers. And, um... Uh, Apparently that's not really allowed in the emulation community, like that's kind of frowned upon, and that's probably why Nintendo decided to make an example of them first. So, pretty crazy stuff going on this week there, so yeah, a lot of people talking about that right now. Um, next, we got some cool news. Uh, if you are a fan of Red Dead Redemption, Arthur Morgan's voice actor, like he's the actor for Arthur Morgan, um, he is narrating the upcoming historical Red Dead Redemption audiobook, so like, if you want some more Arthur Morgan, his voice is going to be voicing his character basically, I think, in like, this Red Dead Redemption audiobook that they're doing, so definitely check that out. I love listening to audiobooks sometimes, so I think I'll put this one on my, uh, wish list. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Oh, we got some news about the upcoming Battlefield game. So yes, there is a new Battlefield, uh, game that is getting developed, and it has been reported that the new Battlefield is going to have a free-to-play Battle Royale mode. So it's going to be very similar to, like, Call of Duty Warzone, you know, like, you buy the new Call of Duty, you get, you get the campaign, you get the multiplayer, and then Warzone is free for everyone, and that's included in the game. So it seems like Battlefield is basically copying Call of Duty right now. They're going to do their own Battle Royale. It's going to be free, though, so if you don't own Battlefield, I, I, you're still going to be able to play with your friends. Uh, in this battle royale mode, and so honestly, I like Battlefield, but I don't know, I, I'll have to check out this game, because I got burnt on the last Battlefield, I bought that on day one, I was so excited, I played it on the channel like once or twice, and I was like, man, this game is not good right now, uh, I heard they updated it, but man, I was so disappointed in the last Battlefield game, oh man, Especially at launch, like that's when I played it. Um, we got some news that Ghost of Tsushima is finally officially confirmed for PC and is launching in May. So for those that don't know, Ghost of Tsushima was one of the biggest like PlayStation games when that came out. Uh, awesome kind of like.
like Japanese samurai game. Uh, it is amazing masterpiece. Uh, it came out on PS4 and PS5, and now it's going to be releasing this year on PC. So if you have not played Ghost of Tsushima, you might want to play this on your PC because honestly, I think it's one of the best games on a PS4 when that came out. Like it was amazing. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? I'm trying to go through all the big and important news today. <laughs> um, Nintendo put out a demo, free demo, that is available right now uh, for the Princess Peach Showtime game. So, if you want to test and try out this Princess Peach game before it actually releases, you can actually download the demo today on the Nintendo Switch eShop. So, definitely do that, you know. If you're a fan of Super Mario, uh, you know, here's a game starring Princess Peach. Looks fun. I might have to download the demo and just check it out because it looks interesting. Uh, what else? Let's see. They are making a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, uh, which is launching in late, late 2024. And it's going to be coming out on everything, literally everything, like PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, Nintendo Switch, PC. Like, it's coming out on everything, so brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Mutants Unleashed is the full name. And uh, honestly, I can see this doing very well. Uh, Ninja Turtles this year are extremely popular. Uh, what else do we got? Um, ooh, this one's great. I'm actually a fan of this series, uh, Gravity Rush 2. Super underrated and underappreciated PlayStation series, Gravity Rush, uh, is getting a remaster of the second game on PlayStation 5 and PC. So this is a rumor. But it looks like it's definitely happening. Um, it's going to get revealed in May. So sometime in May, a trailer is going to come out and a Gravity Rush 2 remaster is going to happen for the PlayStation and PC. So very happy for that. Uh, Gravity Rush, the first game, one of my favorite games on the PS4 and PlayStation Vita. It is a masterpiece that no one played. I had so much fun playing that game. Uh, what else? What else do we got? Um, we have some more news about Super Mario Lego. Yes, new Super Mario Lego stuff has been teased. Uh, apparently there's going to be an announcement on Mario Day, which is March 10th. So in just a few days, we're going to get an announcement of some special Mario Lego, possibly. So if you are a Mario fan or a Lego fan... Looks like we're going to be getting some news. And uh, today, Atlas announced DLC expansion pass for Persona 3 Reload. Uh, Persona 3 Reload is the remake of Persona 3. And a lot of people are playing this game. It is amazing. Persona 3 is super, super worth playing. And uh, this DLC expansion pass adds the answer, which was like an extended uh, extra content of um, from the PlayStation 2 version of Persona 3. Uh, the way the game released, it, it had like some extra stuff that you could do if you bought the uh, like Game of the Year edition. Basically, it was called like FES on the PlayStation 2, and uh, there was this like whole expansion in that called The Answer. So when Persona 3 Reload came out, people were really angry that the remake did not have this extra content, but uh, now Atlas has officially announced that that extra content is going to be in this DLC that you can buy for the game, so at least we're getting The Answer. But it is a little bit annoying that it wasn't included already with the game. Like, you have to buy it extra. Because it is technically a part of the full, complete package for the game. It has, like, extra story content. But uh, Persona fans are very happy with the news that we're getting this. And, yeah, that is 